Hello everyone, welcome back to 868 Attack Plan B. We got 30 points last run, huh? That's me, right? I think? I don't understand how this, like, recent runs things work. But this one's highlighted, it's gotta be me, right? I don't know. Wow, someone had 46 and is still left with 33 point, or, you know, resource items. Amazing. Uh, anyone on a good um, streak right now, besides me? Mm, I'm top of the list. Someone got 75, though. That's so good that it seems like... I mean, I, I could get 75s on occasion in base. But in plan B, where you start with a power-up, that's pretty tough. I wonder if this person is using the secret level or what. I don't know. Anyway, most importantly, 215 is our goal. I mean, really, like... It doesn't seem that much harder to get 7th than to get 10th. Um, so... I don't know. I'm gonna try to get as many points as I can, but like my real goal is I want to just be on the leaderboard. I want my name in lights, right? So that'd be a score of what? 24 would get me tied, so 25 gets me on the board. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, well, something to keep in mind, but I'll probably forget anyway. Favored progs. What the hell is Laser Demon? Can they shoot at you from range or something? That's crazy. Okay, so we're not going to be getting any amazing delays this game, probably. I mean, I, maybe. They make them more expensive, but you can still take them. I have show. Yeah, I assume laser demon means it can shoot you from range. That's really the only thing that makes sense. I mean, most of the time that doesn't matter so much, right? When there's something within your line of sight, you're shooting at it. If there are two things in your line of sight, sometimes you want to shoot at one and not the other. And if that other one is a demon, then it shooting at you would certainly change the calculus there. Um, what do I want on this floor? Probably not ice. This bottom area is very well defended, right? So we could imagine taking, like, fire and a question mark. You could even take fire and ice together how thematic. But we don't really have any progs to kill enemies. Uh, like, I could take Column, I guess, but that seems pretty bleh. Um, I guess one point we could make here, one observation we could make, <clears throat> is that there's a lot of places on this floor where you can siphon multiple walls at the same time. And all the walls are fairly small, so if you could just get a good reduce, you could take a lot of value from a single siphon, right? Like... I don't know. It's kind of hard to actually do, though. We just don't have enough siphons to get resources and then reduce and then spend more siphons, right? <clears throat> like, maybe if we went hacker and started here. Um, I don't know, I guess maybe agent is better than that, but agent, come up here, grab some energy. You, at that point, you only have one siphon left, so, like, what are you going to do? Spend on reduce? But then you're not picking anything up. Okay, so I think reducing on this floor is not actually a real consideration. I should figure out what progs I'm taking from this floor. Ice costs energy, right? Yeah. Figure out the progs I'm taking on the floor, and then choose a login that fits with those, I think. You could take Agent because you have Show, and that costs credits, but, like, Show is not important right now. Like, this is a little tempting to get Column and some points, but... It's just... I, this, this floor kind of sucks. There's nothing you can actually do.
everything's really hard to siphon because it's touching multiple things, in fact, right? I might just spend this floor collecting a few resources and moving on. I, uh, no, I want reduce. It's a good prog. And not that hard to defend, probably. Okay. So I'm spending a siphon here. Another one here looks decent. I don't think I want a third to, like, spend here or something. I'd rather just have 10 energy or something, right? Or 10 credits? Probably 10 energy is okay. Even though, no, both produce and show are credit hungry. Even though I'm planning to pick up more credits and energy on this level, I think I'll have enough energy. Let's get credits. Okay. Ooh, it's a demon. Good, he can't shoot through walls. Man, look at look I love his mouth. It's it's animated. He's a laser demon. Uh what do I do to make sure I get this guy at an opportune moment? If I move four times, he'll have moved four times, which would be bad for me. So we're at we're at a bad parody right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So I can't just go charging at him. I, th I think we have to go down here, right? Okay. If this isn't a glitch, it's completely fine to just pick up the siphon. If it is a glitch, am I in trouble if I head to the right? I'd be here when he spawns, then he moves right, right. I could be in a little trouble, I think. Does moving left help? Not exactly. We'll just go right. Oh my god, it's a damn glitch. Okay. Good. We won the coin flip there. Well, there's no point in gathering resources before I pick up the reduce, because I don't have any prods to do it. Oh, fuck. Alright, you got me. I don't need prods to do anything anyway. I, maybe I just die here. Okay, this is actually great. This is less great? What the hell? Fuck, am I dead? Okay, I'm really close to dead. That guy spawning there behind me is so bad. Because <sighs> there's a Crypt Dog, like, I don't know exactly where. Around here somewhere, right? move left oh you know what I could use show since I think the position of the cryptog matters a lot to me right now god floor one is so bad uh cause if the cryptog is here I can survive. I move left. I shoot the Cryptog twice. That's three moves. This guy's gotten to here. The virus gets in my way. I shoot him once. 
This guy gets here. I shoot him a second time. This guy shoots me. But I've finished the virus, and I turn around and finish the demon. So that's if the Cryptog's here, which honestly I have no idea. If the Cryptog is here, that line definitely doesn't work, and moving left kills me, right? So the, other, the only other thing I can think of, which seems horrible, is to move here and siphon this space. Just to pick up fire. It also spawns a crap load of enemies, and so that seems pretty bad. But it would get me the right parity to fight the demon and Maybe the Cryptog and the Virus. I think the Cryptog and the Virus who are here wouldn't be a problem after that. I'd maybe take one damage. Uh, I'm not sure. The problem is I would have spawned like seven more enemies, and I still don't have a way to fight them. So I, I just don't think that can work. Another line I guess I could consider would be to walk south twice, getting nailed by the demon in the meantime. But, then I can start shooting the demon. I can shoot him three times. And I'll have moved, what, one, two, three, four, five times. The Cryptog will have caught up to me by then, right? So, all right, I need, I need to know where this thing is. He's up there. So going left does not work. Very dead if I try. Do I, maybe I do have enough space though with the Cryptog here that I can back up twice, he gets to here, shoot, 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 he gets to here, turn around, shoot, shoot, except I have to back up once to make sure the virus doesn't get me. I think this lives. Jesus Christ. Okay. Really don't want to get cornered by a glitch here. What do I do about it? I think as long as I just stay in this column, I should be fine, because he's going to want to come this way, right? So I'm if one, he spawns. Two, he comes in. Three, he comes in. Back up, he goes here. Yeah, this should be okay. You know, I was going to have my second siphon be here, which is the most resources, but it's only eight, and I can get six resources and a heal here, which seems like a very good deal. No problem fighting this guy. I'd really rather finish this Cryptog off before I go. I believe I can manage that. Good. Okay, I'm alive. Whew, that was a close one. Uh... Do I need to show here? I have a lot of credits, and I don't want to die. So that's a thing I could consider. Ooh, there's also like a really big reduce that you could use on like this square or this square. If you wanted to pick up like some high value stuff. And even within this level, there's a lot of places to use Siphon Plus, so it would be nice to have, right? Like here is just free money, here is free money, or here is free money and a weight. That seems very nice to have. But I would have to be able to run like six reduces to feel comfortable with that, which I can do. And then if I do that, I kind of like picking up crash and colon points. Okay. 
So given all that, do I need so? I mean, I don't think it's going to influence what I do this turn, right? Moving left seems pretty good. Fine. Now, I haven't yet, like... These laser demons are new to me. And it's sort of obvious in, mm, you know, what you should do with them. Don't walk into their line of sight, right? That's the main thing they're preventing you from doing. But I haven't really internalized, like, rule of thumb shorthand for making sure I don't run into situations where I have to make that mistake. So I do need to be careful with him. But this seems fine. Okay, yeah, no problem. Good. I like how this floor is going. I don't like picking up that siphon yet. There could be a spawn that's nasty, I think. Eh, no, it should be fine. I take it back. This was nasty. No, this is fine. Okay, so now we need a plan of attack to let us use, like, six or ideally seven reduces. Which, I mean, we could use six here, and then this picks us up the resources for another. The main limiting factor I have right now is energy. So I think a siphon here is where we start, right? Ah, no, we can't start here. Because this has to be our second siphon if we're going to use siphon plus. So siphon here to grab the energy needed to power reduce. Then here to pick up more siphons. Am I going to have enough energy to run siphon plus if I do that? Or enough credits, I mean? I think so. Because I come down here, I siphon, right? That leaves me with four more of each resource. I'm at 21 and 7. I spend seven siphons. I'm at f seven and zero. Pick this up, no problem. I have tons of energy and eight credits. I can siphon plus to grab a bunch of credits here and then here and then here. It is a little bit dangerous though to talk about using what? five siphons in a level, there are going to be a lot of enemies spawning if you do that. So you might have to squeeze an attack plus in among all of that, which is a little tough. Well, I think I'm going to give it a try, though. So this is a this is a siphon that gets us a bunch of en uh well enough energy. And then that's it. We just pick up all the goods. Blast this idiot. And I'd like to come here first because I want to be progressing towards the exit, so I have fewer things spawning while I'm further from the exit. Great. Uh, I can afford... Oh, I have to be careful. If I want to siphon plus three times, I might need to pick this one up a little earlier than I would like, huh? No, I guess not. <laughs> I think I just have to, like, leave that guy alone. I gotta get my siphoning done. Siphon, move, move. That seems fine. Meow, meow. 
One more siphon plus. Okay, we picked the bones clean, as they say in Invisible Ink. Very low on resources right now. But I am absolutely loaded on progs. Including a prog that helps me generate more resources. And several progs that will help me live through a floor. So I, I think we're in good shape here. I mean, Polly is something. But I'm not dying for it or anything. Hopefully, haha. Do I need to run a show here? I mean, I assume Attack Plus is going to be my primary tool from now on. Once you've paid the steep cost of acquiring it, it's very efficient at defeating enemies. Yeah, already I'm going to have trouble with these viruses if I don't attack up. So that's fine. It's a huge investment, but... Oh, by the way, where is this guy? He's moved three times, so he's here. So down, down should be fine. It's a huge investment to pick up, and also a big investment to use on each floor. Um, but, you know, it saves you from using a ton of other progs. And is, I think, generally worth doing, except on the very early floors, like this one. But, I don't know, I didn't have a lot of other things I could think to do. I don't have the right tools to deal with that stuff. And when we're going to be using a bunch of Siphon Pluses all over the place, we expect lots of enemy spawns. Oh, really? Come on. Um, and therefore, we're going to need to tack up, because there's going to be a lot of combat on the floor, right? Okay. So, where are some good Siphons? We're looking for resources above all and if we can find spots where we can pick up five or more credits those are free right um, you know obviously there's one right here nice um, there's one here and that kind of looks like the limit honestly How crazy would it be to pick up X? As my last proc? To help me get more value out of Siphon Plus by like slurping stuff up out of weirdly shaped places? Could be interesting, huh? I don't think it's especially good, but could be wrong. Let's just grab these two siphon spots and get out of here. Or, I don't know, I guess I could siphon plus here. Turn four credits into five energy and a point. I think I value credits too much to do that. I could still pick up this X. I don't really think it's very good, but maybe it is. Like, what other progs am I looking for? Not delay because of favored progs, probably. And also, like, I have stuff for killing guys, right? I have attack up, I have crash. That's basically it. Those are my only programs for murder. 
I feel like it might be reasonable to take X here. No, I just... Energy is so much harder to spend than credits when you have Siphon Plus. And I don't have a bunch of energy-hungry products. They're all credit-hungry. I don't, I don't think I can do this. I mean, this was... This was a resource-positive floor. Barely. I, I can't be too mad about it. Um, this floor looks kind of awful. There's no credits anywhere? Maybe undo? That would, could be a good one. I mean, it sure looks like we're walking east and then using attack up. Again. And then I'm going to try to scrounge whatever credits I can find. There's only like seven on the whole level, right? Eight, nine? It's really hard to pick up a bunch of them, though. I hope I didn't overdo it by investing all that money in reduced to pick up, attack up, and siphon up. I really want more, like, rewards for siphon up. Oh, Really? I thought about using a show in case, like, something nasty like this happened, but what are the odds, right? Um... I mean, I guess I could use Cull to kill this guy if I had to? The problem is that I want to use Attack Up, and this guy might walk south, right? And then when I shoot him, this guy will also be in my line of fire, and he'll shoot me, which I don't like, obviously. All right, I mean, I think it's an attack up. Every floor is an attack up floor. He did move that way, so... Cull or Crash saves me from this. I'd rather use Crash. Ooh. It, actually, I still take damage from this guy, don't I? Because once I kill this demon... With this virus, I mean. Virus is gonna be here, I'll blow it away, and then this guy will shoot at me. So that's actually kind of nasty. <sighs> so I could try Cull Walk North. That gets me out of the line of fire. But then I start taking damage from the glitch and the virus when they arrive at the same time. What the hell? This sucks. Kind of jealous of that dot quit I didn't take on the last floor. <laughs> um. There's also a reset I didn't take, which I think was correct. I guess I crash? Well... The thing is, Crash and Cull both let me get out of these three enemies taking one damage, right? This guy dies, and I shoot at this guy, regardless of which prog I use. So he doesn't move. So the, the virus comes to be adjacent to me. Either here if I use coal, or in one of these two spaces if I use crash. I shoot the virus, it dies. This guy shoots me, I shoot it, it dies. So I've taken one, two, three shots after using either of these two programs. Which means the glitch has come to here, and then here or here. 
maybe I can just shoot the glitch. Um, because if he's moved here, I'll be fine. But I suspect, I mean, I think it's like 50-50, which he does, right? Um, ah, maybe the point is I don't finish this guy off yet. I wipe this guy out, st stun him, kill him, move north. Don't shoot this guy a second time. Now I've moved three times. One, two, three. And the glitch is in one of these two squares and I can shoot it. This guy is coming up on my tail, but I can just like wait for him to walk into line of sight and blast him. So, I think either Crash or Calm accomplishes that goal. And I like Crash better for two... Did I say Crash or Calm? Crash or Cull. I prefer Crash for two reasons. Firstly, it uses fewer credits and more energy. Which, given my progs, is a thing I desire. Second, it's going to open up this tile, which... Maybe, you know, when if you blow up a, a wall tile without siphoning it, there's resources behind it. And maybe those will be resources that I can siphon usefully, right? This could be a pretty nice square. So I think we run a crash. Just gotta keep running. There you go. And this square, not so hot, but not horrible. Really not liking my resource situation. It, it's so hard to get more credits. This is the best I can do. I pick up three of them. I'm thinking I might carry a siphon with me to the next floor, which is dangerous because I won't have that many resources. But hopefully a single attack up is enough to let me survive the onslaught next floor. Like, there's places where I could get way more than five resources for a Siphon Plus, right? Here would be great. But it's all energy. I can't use it. Is there a chance that by siphoning the undo I, like, die? I don't think I'll die. I might have to spend more resources defending it. This is the best place to get resources, and it's an okay prog anyway. One of the best progs if you use the secret level, by the way, but I don't. Maybe I do siphon here. I could use some energy, and I'm not guaranteed that there'll be a great way to spend a bunch of siphons next floor, and I have siphon up anyway if there is, if there are good ways to spend. Okay. Uh, this is an okay spot, this is okay, this is okay. I don't want to pick up all those progs. This looks scary. I mean, I don't really have much choice except to walk left as my first move, right? I guess I could crash or I could siphon plus and take a reset, but those both sound bad. So I don't think I have to show just yet. But I'm worried if any of these are demons, this is a very exposed position to be in. Fantastic. I love that none of these are demons. I should be in great shape here. Still want the attack up, obviously, right? Great. Now, I believe if I pick up a prog here, 
It'll replace show. Which, you know, could be good, could be bad. Grabbing a reset to replace show actually seems kind of nice. Right here. Like, I don't mind show, but reset is a way to make use of all this excess energy that I have ways to produce, but no ways to consume at the moment. I think I just take the five credits and two energy here, right? still like reset to replace show, I think. So let's plan on doing that once I can clear the area out a bit. I'll spend a siphon plus here before I pick up the other siphon, that's fine. Great. This is a decent looking siphon spot here. But I don't necessarily want to take away this dollar sign from a siphon here, which is the best one by far. We could also ask whether I really want reduce, like should I replace it with fire or something? Because if I'm doing that, I'm siphoning here, which means I'm not siphoning here, which means I can do this siphon and not be sad about it. I think. Because, I mean, fire, like, it replaces reduce. Reduce is a great way to squeeze out some extra points on the last level. I think I should try to hang on with this set of progs, which means a siphon here. So inefficient, though. I have no idea how far this guy has gotten, by the way. I guess I'll find out if I walk south. Not far, apparently. Okay, that Cryptog can wait. It's right here at the time that I step into the portal. And once again, we clawed back slightly more resources than we spent on that floor. They're not making it easy, of course. Great. And I see some actual good ways to get resources on this floor. Great. Like, I could try to pick up six points while I, you know, siphon here, right? One point siphoning here. Those look pretty promising. Four points here, maybe. But this looks uh, tough to defend, maybe. If it's too big a number. Because you're so out in the open. But I see like three good places to siphon, which is about all I could ask for. I think I'll take this one right away. So I don't have to walk back here. No, that's stupid. It's not that hard to defend the spawns right now. So just pick up all the siphons first. And I guess
guess get this while you're here. Since it is part of the plan. Okay, this is the slightly scary one. Looking good, I think? If these were normal demons, it would be a walk in the park. With the laser beams, there's some slight worry that maybe they get far enough here to shoot at me when I'm killing something else, but I think they actually don't. Hey, get out of here, you. I guess we have to crash, huh? Or else take two damage, which seems bad. All right, crash it is, you got me. The spawn on that one square was rather unlucky, I feel, especially it being a demon. You know, I have reset. Maybe I don't crash. Maybe I just take the two, heal one on the way out, and then maybe use reset if I need to heal more. And now we confirm laser demons work the way we expected. I thought there was a cryptog still out there. I guess not. I don't see any markers for them. Okay. Yes, right. I have to say Siphon Plus, of course. <laughs> Okay, it's important to track where this Cryptog is, but I can predict it very accurately, right? I'm going to take three shots. Here, here, and then here. This guy will have moved three times, so he'll be here. So I'll have to use a wait to avoid getting ganked by him, which is fine. I hope ganked isn't a rude word. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, what it means from, you know, it's, it's a, in, like, an MMO or something, it's, you know, killing another player, often by surprise. It's probably not rude? I don't know. It's been a long time since I was in a community that, where that word was used at all. Who knows how online uh, verbiage has drifted. So, do we try any more Siphon Pluses? This one looks okay. It turns one, energy, one credit into three energy. Not bad. Ooh, what about this? Turns two credits into three energy and a heal. Kinda nice, huh? If I do that, I can still do this one. All right. I think we're finally starting to get rich off of the Siphon Plus that we spent so much effort on getting. Pick the bones clean, operator once again. Oh, and my eyes feel so much better as we don't have that background distortion. Now we're on Sector 7. Not exactly, you know, mission accomplished yet. And this is not a totally easy looking floor. If I had show, I would probably be happy using it here. There's not that many great siphons. We can go here, pick up three three points and some stuff. That's a freebie. If we're willing to pour a bunch of in into reduces, we could take this, but I don't want to do that and with the last level looming. How do you like them alliterations? Um, this is okay. I think I'm, mm, gosh. It seems crazy to carry a Siphon into the next level when I already have Siphon Plus, but that might be, I don't know. It's kind of stupid, right? I'll just spend a Siphon. Because this, this is a good Siphon, right? You have to take this. It's 10 resources. And enough energy lets me reset for days. So I think it's, 
I'm not going to be stuck unable to spend energy is what I think. I think I walk west here. Okay. Doesn't seem so bad. Attack up still seems like the right plan. Where's my debug when I need it? But I think we just attack here. I mean, my plan is basically just, like, attack a bunch and then use Crash if necessary. But I think I can... Ooh. I was about to say I'll just take one damage. I have resets. But with that guy spawning right there, a Crash is probably called for. Point here. Don't really want it. Eye on the prize. Eyes on the prize, I guess? Which is just like making it out of this game alive. That is the prize. Grab this. And I think we can afford to take this. Yes, very likely. What am I doing? Okay, turns out it worked. Okay, we're in. Sector 8. seen so few siphonable walls on a Sector 8 that I can recall. Okay. Huh. There's even a save, so if I have a bunch of credits left over, somehow, I can uh, smuggle them into the next floor by spending five to turn credits into a siphon, and then five more to turn to save the siphon for next, next game. Okay, well, probably not a thing I'm gonna do. I really don't like being so out in the open, but I guess that's what Crash is for. Walk. God, this really is horrible positioning. Walk east, I think. Maybe south, actually, because then demons can't shoot you up this column so easily. Try that. <sighs> Chimney Christmas. Okay. Well, I mean, we're we're attacking up. That's pretty clear, and I think we're crashing right away. Because if I just shoot this guy, I get shot already. Well, right. But I have resets for that, right? So if I can get better value out of a crash if I by spending resets, I should try to do that. I guess another point is I could back up here. That might get me a better crash or buy me a turn when I don't have to spend a prog at all. If this guy moves north and this guy moves west, then I could get away with it. I don't think that's very likely. I think I want to just shoot this thing and take a damage. And work towards spending my energy on reset rather than my credits on crash. Because my credits are solid gold here with reduce to grab. Actually, you don't need that much. You could pick this up on your way out with no need to reduce anything. That's kind of nice to know. Just siphon, walk, walk. It's guaranteed easy mode. Still. I think I should try to take damage to avoid using credits if possible. Now, 
I could back up here. And that should give me a pretty decent crash. But is it possible it's better to just shoot this guy again and take damage from the virus as well and then crash? That should catch the Cryptog, the virus, and maybe the glitch in a crash? And then probably I'll be shooting at one of these guys, because they'll walk to this row most of the time. One of them will. I could also shoot the virus and take damage from the demon instead. I'm not 100% sure which of those makes more sense. But I think I should take some damage again, right? Lots of energy, gotta make use of it somehow. Yeah, okay. Let's take damage again. Good. Now we finally get a good crash. Probably I should just reset here. It's never the optimal play, because you should always be able to predict on a turn whether you're about to take damage, and if so, reset only as needed. That way you save the energy and you're more flexible in case you, for some reason, decide you don't want to reset at all, ever. But, um... A, I think I'm very likely to use reset another time this floor. And B, I don't really trust myself that much to never make a mistake and get shot once. And also, C, I don't think I'm going to run out of energy, and so I should just spend some. So let's do that. Oh, isn't this nice? And then the crash we were planning, of course, so I can shoot this guy. Shoot him twice. This guy is suddenly in range. Shoot him twice. And then this guy shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we finally get a good crash. This guy's moved twice, so he should be, like, on this plane. I believe now it's a wait to avoid getting hit by him. Yep. Okay, I mean, this could be going a lot worse. But, um,. With save available, I really should be thinking about whether I can smuggle some credits to the next floor. Next game. I think I should be able to smuggle one? Probably? While still getting all of the available points? Okay. Got lucky there. Shouldn't have walked into the corner, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe you have to do it at some point. They spawn quickly enough that there's never a good time. So. I can turn five credits and a siphon into a save if I've siphoned the save. I can also turn ten credits into a save without any siphons, because I can just siphon plus and then save. But I don't think I'm going to have 10 extra, right? Maybe? There's not a lot of places I can gain extra credits here. I, see, here's I have so much energy. I wonder if I could have avoided using that crash and used reset instead. Because if I want to pick up the save, I kind of feel like I have to do some reduces on the way in to avoid getting blasted by the eight guys who are going to spawn when I do this. Um, which really cuts into the amount that I have to send to the next level, right? Next game. 
It's like, right now, I have a win. And it's a high score win as well, right? I'll be on the top 10 if I just walk down here and press spacebar left, left. But I'd like to pick up the save and ideally the three points while doing that. And to feel comfortable doing that, I think I would want to spend like three reduces so that I just have to fight two guys plus all the spawns I'm getting. You know what? I have a lot of re I have a lot of energy. Maybe I can just spend zero reduces and fight off eight dudes again. There shouldn't be a turn when I'm taking three damage all at once, so I should be able to reset my way out of every problem. And especially if I take it from here instead of here, it shouldn't be that hard to fight a bunch of guys. I get less energy, so I'll be like one re reset shorter, right? But I think being here versus here to fight eight dudes is worth well more than two health. So say I... Oh, plus I get a credit. We love credits. So say I did that. I siphon here. And by some miracle... I defend it without spending any resources at all. It's just nothing but cryptogs and I just blast them all straight along this row. Let's say that happens. What's my position then? I have 14 credits and 17 energy. And a siphon. I can come pick this up. Which is 6 more credits. Putting me at 20 and 0 siphon. That's exactly enough to say no. Then I have to spend... Okay, right. I have to also pick this up. Which sort of cost me five credits. So I'll be at 15 credits, and I forgot how much energy. 22. So I kind of have five credits to play with. in my defense of all this stuff that are not going to make any difference to how many siphons I can save, right? Which means I could, like, reduce twice before I fight all this stuff, and then I'm pretty sure that I just enough resets would do it, right? Or I could reduce once and keep a crash handy in case I need it. But I think reducing twice is better. Let's just double check the math on that exact plan. Come here, reduce twice. I'm at 9.14. I siphon. 10.15. Come up here, kill all the dudes. Spend two resets, right? I can't imagine the fight going that badly, but let's say I did. Um, I still have five energy. And... 10 credits and a siphon. I come here, I gain some resources. I come here, I spend my siphon picking this up, and I still have a save. Yeah, that seems to work. I love that you spawned right there. All right, so let's try two reduces, as I predicted I would do. Does not look too bad. They were very obedient there. They could have moved in different ways to actually make me use a reset or two, but they didn't. Nice. Hey! That's rude! 
They still only attack for one, so that's fine. That's what these resets are for. You know what? I'll kill him. I just don't want any guys alive while I, I'm executing my grand heist here. So... Did I miscalculate? Am I not saving anything? Ah! No, 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 I am. Because Siphon Plus only costs 5, not 10. And then it costs 10, including the Siphon Plus, to save one. Great. And if this somehow goes completely ass over Tea Kettle, uh, I have an undo. So there's really no way I can be punished for this. Yep. We're safe. And I'm going to Siphon and save. Got him. Nice. How are we looking? Well, I didn't even pay attention to the total points. 32. So that should put us in 7th or 8th, right? Yeah, 8th. Not bad. Take that, nobody. Huh. Alright. Well, I was sort of thinking this was going to be a short series. Or I would just show you guys plan B and die pretty soon. You know. I'm glad that we made it onto the high score list. That was a huge accomplishment for me when I was playing in classic mode back when I was on the high score list. Uh, it took me, I don't know, 15 runs or something. Um, you know. I don't want to assume that we'll be running for, you know, 15 runs here or something. But I'm very pleased we made it on the high score list. So there you go. I guess the uh, the playlist continues then. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.